and play show and exact a wagering. This for Illinois bred three-year-old trotting fillies, a $5,000 purse. Phillies earn consideration for the right to start based on points scored throughout the summer in county fair races statewide in Illinois. No scratches. Ron Marsh drives the two, Spirit Breeze. Let's meet the starters. Number one, Savannah Silk, owned by Jack and Peggy Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, by Dennis and Kevin Lacomi's Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Illinois, trained by Irvin Miller. Andy Miller is up. Couple in the wagering is 1A Odd Flight, owned by Mystical Marker Farms, Dirk Simpson of Springfield, and Dr. Tom Pollard of Danville, trained and driven by Dirk Simpson. Number two is Spirit Breeze, owned and trained by Jerry Robinson of Carrollton. The driver is Ron Marsh. Couple in the wagering is the 2A Heather Connection, owned and trained by Jerry Robinson of Carrollton. The driver, Michelle Morgan. Number three, GT's Intentions, owned by Clifford Johns of Trivoli and David Johns of Bartonville, trained and driven by Newton's Dave Fagan. Number four, Holly's Giant Ego, is owned by Gary Williams of Milan, trained and driven by Carrollton's Doug Talley. Number five, Peaches Cream, is owned by Morris and Joan Brown of Sedalia, Missouri, trained by Charles Allen Finn. That driver should read Morris Brown. It is Morris Brown who drives the five. And number six, Cute as a Bug's Ear, is owned by Lynn Wilfong of Kentland, Indiana, trained and driven by Brett Wilfong. So again, in the first race, not only will Ron Marsh drive the two Spirit Breeze, but the driver of the five Peaches Cream should read Morris Brown of Missouri, as opposed to Mike Brown from Illinois. And the first race will be at the post in four minutes. Three-year-old trotting fillies, including last year's Shawnee Stakes and Illinois State Fair filly champion Savannah Silk. Gate is rolling. They're an eighth of a mile from the start. Spirit Breeze off stride behind the gate. They are off and trotting. Cute as a bug's ear. Goes out for the lead and quickly clears the inside traffic as Odd Flight comes away in second. Savannah Silk is away trotting in the third position as they move into the first turn. GT's intentions will settle against the rail in fourth. Cute as a bug's ear was moving fast at the start and opens up on a two and a half length lead. Savannah Silk starts to cut into that margin from second. Odd Flight is third. A gap of three and a half more back to GT's intentions in fourth. Peaches Cream is fifth, Heather Connection is racing in sixth, and then, as they go by the quarter, Holly's Giant Ego is seventh, and Spirit Breeze last. 28-3, and three, a good opening quarter for these trotting fillies, and cute as a bug's ear, leads them up the backstretch, but only by a length. Savannah Silk is a much closer second, a gap of two to Odd Flight, who moves up third, a gap of nearly five more to GT's Intentions, Peaches Cream, Heather Connection, Holly's Giant Ego, and Spirit Breeze is last. They are single file past the half in 57 and 1. Pretty good front half for Illinois bred trotting fillies as they move into the far turn with cute as a bug's ear setting this tempo for Indiana native Brett Wilfong by a length. It is Savannah Silk second a length and a half. Odd flight third by just over two. Then GT's Intentions, Peaches Cream, Heather Connection and Holly's Giant Ego with Spirit Breeze and last. At the three quarters, cute as a bug's ear still leads it by a length. Savannah Silk is second by three and a half lengths to G as they turn for home to Odd Flight and GT's intentions. They got the three quarters in 126 and four. Cute as a bug's ear, leads it a length, turning for home. Here comes Savannah Silk on the outside. A gap of six more back to Odd Flight, then another four to GT's intentions. And Savannah Silk is up to challenge Cute as a bug's ear. Savannah Silk now gets the lead. Cute as a bug's ear is second. A gap of six more back to Odd Flight, GT's intentions, and Peaches Cream. Savannah Silk a short lead, but cute as a bug's ear is very game. Savannah Silk, however, wins it by a length. Cute as a bug's ear was second, and Odd Flight was third. Time for the mile, 158 and 4. And also in the winner's circle, Mickey Pavilonis, representing Dan Hines, the state comptroller, will make the presentation for race one. 
Savannah Silk is owned by Jack and Peggy Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, and Dennis and Kevin Lacombe's Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights. Tom Shen of Newton, Illinois, bred this three-year-old Hoist the Yankee filly. He buys Speedy Crown. Urban Miller and Andy Miller are leading trainer and driver of the week thus far. This makes win number seven on the week at DuCoin for both Urban and Andy, thanks to Betsy Carter of Carmi, our ringmaster here at DuCoin as well.